welcome everybody to our New Year's Eve prize giveaways from our advent calendar. I'm joined by Linda Honorevoli, our executive director, and I am J.R. Smith, uh, publications director for HMA. And if you're wondering what HMA is, if you're not one of our regulars, Linda can tell you a little bit about that. Thanks, JR. Uh, Handbell Musicians of America is a nonprofit organization. We were founded 70 years ago with the goal of uniting handbell musicians from around the country to share ideas, exchange music, techniques, and information. Those are still our goals, uh, but we also advocate for our art form, for music education in general, and the importance of communal music making for the greater good. All right, that's who we are. And um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what our advent calendar was. Uh, this started a few years ago. It was the brainchild of one of our regional membership coordinators, Maya Dunzala. And we have been doing it since then. We do a digital online advent calendar. And each day, starting on December 1st, uh, you can open up a door for some sort of a treat. Uh, we've, we've had crafts, uh, pieces of music, uh, recordings, um, trivia questions and trivia questions is what we're going to focus on today because any of you who answered the trivia questions had a chance to enter our prize drawings and we have got all of your names up on this fabulous prize wheel and you will notice it looks like there are maybe 50 or 70 names or so on there uh, there are actually over 800 if you see that little white space over on the side all the other names are hidden under there, but trust me, they will show up as what? the wheel spins. There's 800? There's 835 names, I think. That's amazing. So anyway, uh, we're going to start off by giving away a couple prizes, and then we're going to have some more fun a little later on. And what we're going to give away first is a Mallmark dinner bell. This is an actual Mallmark Bell Craftsman casting. Uh, with a dinner bell, sort of a handle on it, a little bow, and those are donated by uh, Malmark Bell Craftsman. So we will give the wheel a spin. Okay, and the first one of those goes to Catherine Drescher. And let's go ahead and give away another one. And the lucky recipient of our second Mallmark dinner bell is P.L. Grove. Congratulations, P.L. Uh, for anyone who wins a prize today, uh, you'll be receiving an email from us at HMA, and please reply to that uh, with your address and some other information uh, so that we can get your prizes out to you. And we will be using the email you provided to us when you registered uh, for the prize drawing. So make sure to check all of your various and sundry email accounts because we're not sure which one you may have provided to us. So uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more uh, about not only our organization, but the benefits of being a member. Lots of folks go, well, why should I be a member? Do I have to be a handbell musician to be a member? Uh, well, I'll answer the second one first. You do not have to be a handbell musician to be a member of HMA. You can be what we call a handbell enthusiast, of which I am one. That is someone who appreciates the instrument, who appreciates what our organization is doing. Uh, what we do, as I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, is we advocate for our art form, we also advocate for music education in general, and also uh, a lot of what we're doing lately is, is talking about the benefits and joys of making music together in a communal manner and how that benefits the greater good society at large, that we can go on and on, but I won't do that because I know you're on here waiting to hear about your prizes. So there's various... Uh, Benefits associated with being a member, I won't go into details on those. I'll send you over to our snazzy new website so you can check that out over there. It's handbellmusicians.org. Now I think we're going to spin the wheel of prizes again, JR. Yes, and speaking of memberships, how about we give away a year's membership to HMA? Um, and if you're not a member yet and you win this, you can become a new member. If you're already a member, this will just add an extra year onto the end of 
your current membership. So let's go back to our price wheel and give it a spin. And the winner of a year's membership is Lynn Powell. Congratulations, Lynn. We hope you enjoy your membership with HMA. Uh, I would like to talk to you a little bit about our Advent calendar. Uh, for those who may not have seen it, who are just tuning in for fun tonight, uh, you can still access all of the various uh, things that have been shared uh, for the past, you know, the 25 days leading up to Christmas. So you can go to our website, as I mentioned before, handbellmusicians.org, or to our Facebook page, and it will connect you there. So we have something special to share with you today from actually last year's Advent calendar. It is by J.R. Smith, the uh, lovely gentleman wearing the hat and bow tie to my left or right, depending on where he has me in the feed here. Uh, he performed Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas on baritone ukulele, and you will get to experience that now. Thank you, JR. That was wonderful. We appreciate you sharing your talents with us. Thank you. I'm going to take a moment to talk with you about some events that Handball Musicians of America National presents throughout the year, one of which is Virtual Winter Workshop, which launched during COVID for obvious reasons. We did things online at that time. But we realized in the years following that there is a, a huge audience looking for learning opportunities uh, from all around the country who may not be able to travel for various reasons. And sometimes it's more convenient to be able to take classes in your own home. Uh, and it's also obviously more cost effective without having to travel. So the event I'm talking about is Virtual Winter Workshop. It is taking place, I'm going to cheat and look over at our site. It is taking place January 26th through 28th online. Um, you will get to take 11 courses over three days. However, even if you have a time conflict during that weekend, you will have access to all of the classes, there are 22 of them, that you can watch for the 30 days following. So whether you can participate uh, live uh, online during the event or whether you can only watch afterwards, you are welcome to register and, and do either or both. 
So, Jr., I think we have a prize related to virtual winter workshop. Actually, we I think we do. We are going to give away a free registration to virtual winter workshop. And let's go back to our prize wheel and give that a spin. And the lucky recipient of that is Rick Holdsworth. Congratulations, Rick. We're looking forward to seeing you at Virtual Winter Workshop, uh, where you will experience lots of different kinds of classes, including techniques, arts administration, performing, um, education, and a whole lot more. So now I'm going to turn it back over to Linda, who's going to talk a little bit about our live streaming activities. Yes, thanks, JR. Uh, one of the things that HMA has been working on a lot is uh, providing more live stream concert access to people all over the world. Uh, we do this for our national seminar concerts, for Distinctly Bronze East and West. And coming up next week is going to be College Ring-In. They are having their performance on Sun Saturday. I almost said Sunday. It's not. It's Saturday, January 6th at 4 p.m., uh, you can access the live stream via our YouTube channel. JR, do you remember our YouTube channel handle? Because I do not. So I will just. It's youtube.com slash handbell musicians. There you go. As the director of <clears throat> Handbell Musicians of America, I should probably know that. Uh, anyway, so she has a bookmark, so she doesn't have to. <laughs> I do. That. I have it bookmarked in my own defense. And I do subscribe, so it comes up automatically. Um, the concert, for those who might be in the Pennsylvania area, I know Pennsylvania is large, but this is the Hershey, Pennsylvania area. The concert is taking place at Grace United Methodist Church in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania. Again, four o'clock on Saturday, January 6th. So, JR, are we giving another prize away? We are. How about we give away a couple more of those Mallmark dinner bells? Ooh, I have, by the way, for the record, <clears throat> I want to jump in here. Uh, I have a Mallmark dinner bell, and my mom was the recipient of one. She won it in one of our events last year. So she has one at her assisted living as well and tells everyone all about it. So, so congratulations to whomever will be winning this. It's fabulous. Okay, let's jump over to the prize wheel and find out who that is. And the first one goes to Elizabeth Harbin. And we'll give it another spin and find out who will win the second one. And that second bell will go to Ann Wood. Congratulations, Ann. And we hope you enjoy ringing your bells. Um, so a little while ago, Linda shared a video of me performing a piece of music. Well, there was also a video last year um, with Linda performing for you. Now, unfortunately, this is not actually a video because <laughs> this is from a show that she was in called Disenchanted, which was done during COVID, right? Right. And it's done strictly as an online event, but we right. do not have permission to show video of this. So enjoy some of the pictures <laughs> in the background and enjoy Linda Honorevely singing Insane from <laughs> Disenchanted. Do you hear that? That's the clock upon the mantel And he talks about timely things I've a teapot in my kitchen Who whistles and walks and sings Have you met my candelabra With all his Liberace This is not the way my story used to be. Now everything around me chats 
dancers and just loves to chew the fat. And that little chip cup just won't shut up. How Looney Tunes is that? And some of them sound great. And some speak all Francais. And I find that I'm trapped in a fairy tale. Don't the Disney way. And I can't help but think this is insane. What the hell? Has Mickey lost his mind? This is so lame. Not a mouse could be so damn unkind to a girl from classic lit who babbles on now like a twit with pottery furniture carpeting. God, this is shit. And it's driving me insane. The flatware often greets me like some heavenly kitchen choir. I just took a stroll with a casserole, had a chat with a deep fat fryer, and the fork and spoon like a dancing crone round the dining room. I'm no liar. I'd like to take that movie and set it on fire, cause it's driving me insane. Can't you see? Well, this tale as old as time went straight down the drain. I just sit at the table, I'm so depressed Cause I'm scared that the dishes will break in two We are And It's driving me insane Insane Ah Now I wanna cry, this is so wacky Wacky, wacky I haven't always been this way But then my tail went awry and slightly off track who has deep conversations with her bidet. And trust me, talking to inanimate objects is the least of my worries. Let's talk and say, does anyone else think it's strange that my pain comes from dating a guy who has mange? Here's the dirt, here's the scoop. I'm the girl who picks up her husband. Don't judge me! How much lower can they make this character stoop? This is driving me insane. insane. I've got to face reality, I'm insane. insane. But here it is, come bestiality, I'm insane. insane. Ooh, I'm in. Okay, that was wonderful, Linda. Thank you very much for that. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, it, again, it, it's um, it's hard to be taken seriously after uh, showing some still photos of the executive director wearing a faux bear skin and singing a Broadway show tune. But anyway, we'll try to bring it back around to Handball Musicians of America. As I mentioned at the top of this broadcast, uh, HMA is a nonprofit organization. Uh, we uh, function via donations and through membership. So if you are able to join HMA, that would be fabulous. If you are able to donate of any amount, that would be absolutely lovely and appreciated as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be before the end of the year unless you would like it for your tax purposes and therefore you have a few hours left to get it in. Uh, anytime you can donate online, handbellmusicians.org. Uh, JR, do we have a few more prizes left? Sure. How about we go ahead and give away another registration to Virtual Winter? Oh, let's. How does that sound? Okay, let's get the prize wheel going here. And the lucky recipient is Michelle. Hedgren. 
So we hope you enjoy yourself at Virtual Winter Workshop in January. Okay, and I think we have another membership we could give away. So we'll get the wheel going again here. And the membership will go to Amy Maxteed. <clears throat> okay, and I believe we have a couple more Monmark belts to give away. Uh, so let's go ahead and give one of those. And we will give that one to Logan Herod. And I think we have one more. Yes, we've got one more that we can give away. Let's get the prize wheel going again. And the lucky winner of that Melmark Bell is Sherry Roach. Congratulations, we hope you enjoy it and have lots of wonderful dinners and call your people to dinner with that bell. <laughs> so, sure. Linda. Oh, sorry, JR, I stepped right on you. Well, I wanted to thank JR uh, not only for putting this broadcast together tonight, but for uh, working with Maya and, and really doing all of the, the hard work involved with getting uh, the advent calendar going. Uh, it, it is a lot of detail, a lot of technology involved. Um, and, and I'm very grateful to you and Maya for putting this together every year. Thank you. Okay. Well, I guess that's all we've got for you tonight. <laughs> Sarah um, and I have nothing <laughs> left to say at this point other than happy new year. <laughs> yeah, well, and one thing I will mention real quick, uh, Linda a minute ago was talking about donating and ways to donate. There will be a link in the video description if you want to go straight to our donate page. We'll also have links to the advent calendar um, and to our website. So we hope you enjoy all that and we hope you have a very fun New Year's Eve. Be safe Absolutely. and have a good time tonight. Absolutely. Have a fun and safe New Year's, everyone. Take care. Bye.